Look what I just dug. Are you kidding me? Hi, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt, and welcome to another episode of The Weekly Dirt. If it's your first time here, The Weekly Dirt is a weekly series I put on every Sunday where I bring you the best of what our metal detecting world has to offer. I'm going to show you some cool finds, introduce you to some great channels, and tell you about some events and giveaways going on right here in our metal detecting community. Hit that subscribe button right there if you're not already a subscriber. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Let's get into today's episode. My buddy Gafflebab up in Canada was doing a great collaboration with Ty E. Hunter. They got together and went out there and boy, they were on the silvers. Check this out from Gafflebab. Watch this. Welcome to my channel. I'm Gafflebab and today we are metal detecting. But check this out. Very first target is a $2 coin. Right on, two bucks. Check it out, guys. Let's get it with a bit of water here. Sterling silver. Yeah, that's awesome. That is beyond awesome. Damn, dude. And what what does it say on there? GGIT? It says... CBIT. CGIT, I believe. We'll have to look that up. And pulled out this silver ring, but you can see it's broken. I might have actually broken it, but look at that beauty. It's got a nice little stone on it. Right in there, 925. Right on, silver ring. But look at the condition that came out of the ground in. Ooh. That is shiny. A 44. Beauty. KG6. What do we got? It is a 1946. Three silver dimes for Tai Hunter today. You guys are never gonna believe what Tai Hunter just got. Oh my God. So that is, that is, back. that is the find of the day, dude. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh yeah, 925 and another mark as well. The champ. Six. Equinox 800 versus Equinox 800. What do you think, Maggie? Who won? It just looks the other way. Yeah. I don't want to be yeah. responsible for this. It's always great hunting with a buddy and boy when you guys can go head to head on silver count. That's always the best, man. Congratulations, man. Awesome day of hunting to you and to Taiyi Hunter, of course. Hey, if you're not familiar with Gaffle Babs channel, I'm going to put a link down below. Head on over there. Check it out. Tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. My buddy Jim over at Tennessee Gem is having a 1,000 sub giveaway. And it's a big one, boy. I'm telling you, tons of things being given away over there. You need to head on over there and check it out and get involved. I'll put a link down below to Tennessee Gem. Good luck to everybody. Hey, let's go check in with Dig That Beep. That's right, Dig That Beep. Boy, they were on it again, always on the goods. Let's just check in with them this week and see what they were digging. Dig That Beep, watch this. Take a look in here. Look at there, guys. Look at that. Second signal, Silver Washington. Gonna have a Merc. Um, looks like it's gonna be a 1942 Mercury dime, sir. Yeah, that's a ring, brother. That looks like silver, too. It's a big honking ring. It's got a. What's 1003? Those little German looking. Yep, that's 925 right there. Good job, dude. That's a big ring. We got a silver ring here, stamped 925. It was squealing 948 on the E track. Um, First one of them I found in a while. It's gonna be a war nickel. Um, don't know the date on it, but he'll he'll definitely get it cleaned up. It looks like a 40. It looks like it's gonna be a 45 from what I can 45. see there. 40 something rosy. I'll clean it up when we when we get back to the truck. But but uh, I'll tell you guys, I'm happy to have it. This place is killer. Um, early in the morning, already got three silver coins. Chasing the midtone. And I stuck my shovel in there and I started digging that up. It says Tom's. Tom's? I bet that's an old soda bottle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, look right here, Tommy. There it is. Wow. Look, guys. It went right there in the side. I didn't see it. It was a little spill. 
That's number five. What is that, Rosie? Uh, Mert. Mert. This is the best silver day I've had, guys, since I've been detecting in the last almost two years. Um, I've got five silver so far in a silver ring, and the day's not over. I think with a little bit of cleaning, you'll get a date on that one. It looks like it's either 19... Oh, I don't, man, those numbers back then, them eights and nines yeah. look real close, yeah, but do. that could be an 1800s coin, late 1800s. That's really cool, man. I've all gone, he's already got another silver. They are just packed in here. I mean, it's crazy. I think that's silver number 12 for the day, and we haven't even made it to lunch yet. Man, the theme of this show should have been silvers, right? You guys were on it. I'm telling you, great job up there digging. Hey, if you're not a fan, dig that beep. I'll put the link down below. Go over there and become a fan. Go give them a look for sure. Dig that beep. Link's down below. Hey, Dig Dogs. Dig Dogs having a September giveaway. That's right, in their August giveaway. Guess what? One of you won it. One of the viewers here from Weekly Dirt went over there and entered his contest and ended up winning it. So it can be done. You guys need to go support the contest that I mentioned here on the show and get involved. But Dig Dogs doing their September giveaway. It's a cool pinpointer. Links down below. Go get involved. Follow all the rules and good luck. Hey, let's check in with my buddy Josh at CT Relic Digger. That's right, CT Relic Digger, great channel. Always got some great things going on over his channel. Well, he was doing this great collaboration this week and pulled an amazing find that may just turn out to be an incredible discovery. Let's check in this week with CT Relic Digger. Check it out. Check that out. It's beautiful. Definitely period. All right, so a little pregame snack. We're getting all fueled up. Oh, I love it. That's why I love New England. And God bless America. Beautiful property. Ricky the Wild Man. Bill and Kevin are down there. 1958 registration tag off a license plate pretty cool oh, this is kind of neat it looks like a reed probably off a musical instrument of some sort all right that is awesome yeah. look at the pen look at the colonial. that's definitely colonial all hand forged drive pen ox cart all day. I love it. That would look nice all cleaned up in electrolysis. Uh, it's really a weird one too. It's got a groove all the way down it. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's funky. I like that. That's a safe key. That's one you wear around your neck or something. Yeah, it had a hole in it. That's an older yeah. one for a trunk or a safe. Yeah. That's sweet. You're afraid to touch it, huh? I know. Oh yeah, dude. Oh. That's silver. Oh man. Dude, good job. Oh, look at it. it does have yeah, it's hot. There's the, there's the finger thing to yeah, pop it open. I love it. Probably a morphine pill or something. Look what I just dug. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. I see all kinds of cool stuff on this. Oh, man. That is awesome. I don't know what it is. Almost looks like a totem pole, but I see a bird now. Man, this is really heavy, really old. I'm shaking because I don't know what it is, but I know it's something amazing. And as far as relics go, you're not going to find a cooler relic than that. Oh, boy. I got to show the boys. That is sick. Wow, Josh, some cool finds from you and the guys out there, I'm telling you. And then that artifact, I don't know what it is. What is it? Uh, I hope you find out here soon and share it with us. I think it's going to turn out to be something quite special. Everyone head on over there, give this channel a look. I'll put the link down below to CT Relic Digger. Go check them out and give them a big thumbs up. Tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. Outdoorsy Gal, oh, that's right, 1,000 sub giveaway. Outdoorsy Gal, oh, everyone should head on over there and check it out, get involved. I'll put the link to the contest down below. And you can go over there and get involved in it. Go give her a big thumbs up. Outdoorsy Gal, oh, go check it out. Hey, let's bring it back here to Colorado to my state and check in with my digging buddy, Tony, over at 5280 Adventures. Boy, we've been tearing up this U.S. Cavalry site, and he just had an epic day, and we're going to go take a look at it. Check it out this week from 5280 Adventures. Watch this. We're back out at the Cavalry Camp. Today's been an epic day. You're not going to want to miss this one. Stick around.
right, so this is my third target. And these guys over here are giving me a hard time. It's too early for this. Uh, all right. Oh, oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. Oh, full shank on the back. Oh, look at that. It's not, I didn't even brush it up yet. It's absolutely pristine. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you what this feels like to be out here in Colorado and to find this type of location. Look at that. I'll get some pictures and show it, but uh, it's pretty, it's pr pretty darn amazing. Probably maybe even the best button we've pulled out so far. So it's going to be a good day, Ken. There's a clump right here, it was up underneath there. I just popped it out. I haven't even taken a look at it yet. I can see the shank. Oh gosh. This one's gonna take some cleaning, but uh, you can see the eagle right there, the shield starting to poke through. Another general service, it's a small one, but that root's going right through the back of it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Beautiful shank. It looks like it's gonna be a button sticking out there. Let's get this out. Oh. General service. Uh, oh, shank's off of it. I think this is the first one we found with no shank. What a day. Look at how gorgeous that is. Hey, anytime you can find an eagle button here in Colorado, are you kidding me? It's an extremely rare event. But you pulled four of them that day, buddy. Great job, great job. Everyone, if you're not a fan, head on over there to 5280 Adventures and tell Tony, hey, he saw you on the Weekly Dirt. Great job, great button pulls there, and much more to come, I'm sure. You guys keep your eyes peeled for that. 5280 Adventures, go check them out. Hey, my buddies Kimmy and Scott over at Dirt Diggers UK, that's right over in the UK, are having a great giveaway. You need to head on over there, show them some support, give them a big thumbs up, and yes, they're gonna honor entries from the United States, so feel free to go over there and enter that one. It's a good one. I'll put a link down below that. Go check it out, Dirt Diggers UK, great job. Hey, Rob over at FL Thunder is also having another giveaway. You need to head on over his channel and check it out. I'll put a link down below to his channel too. You go over there and check it out and get involved in it. He's always having great giveaways. And this is another one from him. Rob, digging with Rob, FL Thunder. Go check him out. Hey, if you've been enjoying the show, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button right there. We'd love to have you here as part of the Adventures in Dirt family. Check out these videos. I picked them out for you. You should give them a look. I think you'll enjoy them if you haven't seen them already. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday.